talked last time, uh, in anticipation of your forthcoming new record, uh, you, you said something sort of interesting about your creative process and how, you know, you allow the songs to come through you, you know, you tease them out. And I'm just wondering, are you good at staying out of your own way when you're writing? Hmm. Well, I think uh, I just go through a lot of ideas and try out a lot of stuff and um, yeah, I kind of record little ideas and I'll have a few things, lots of little ideas and I try connecting different things together to see if they work together to be one song. Um, I don't know, I, I take a long time, I, you know. I always, you always hear about, like, the best songs are these songs that just come right out of someone, you know? Just come pouring out, and that never happens for I, me. I was going to ask that. You, you yourself said that most of the songs on the new record are from the past four to ten years, yeah. so, I, you know, a long gestation period. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just, uh, yeah, I would love to write a, write a song fast, but it just doesn't happen. Well... Fortunately, the world shut down for a while, so you had a backlog of songs, and then you got to spend a lot of time, much of it by yourself, working on a record. What was it like to work on the new record so much in isolation? Uh, kind of a drag. It's <laughs> a lot funner to uh, do creative stuff with other people. Being alone was, yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't very fun, but got it done. Right, but there were no like moment, like golden halo epiphany moments where you're like, left to my own devices, I can. Not too much, no. Yep. I mean, there's a, you know, it was mostly it felt it just felt kind of like work. Right, right. Well, and even you said you like stayed at an Airbnb for two months towards the end, just so like all you did was work. Kinda, yeah. I mean, I'm, that's not all I did, but uh, I tried to. Uh, um, well, I just tried to make it a tax write-off and said I was working on the record at this Airbnb. 